Hello and welcome to the second instalment of the Toylander 1 build series. This is the first real episode where I've started to make some progress and I hope to keep you quite regularly updated. So as you can see, I've bought some wood and some tools. I um, went out today in the Land Rover. Hopefully there'll be a picture of here just about now. And bought some of this lovely marine ply. This is 12 mil marine ply. It is eight foot by four feet. And need two sheets as per the build catalog here. So I bought two sheets of that. Now, marine ply is actually quite expensive. Um, the build catalog does recommend some different things such as moisture resistant MDF, or you can use plain plywood, but I wanted this really to last as long as it could, so I've bought marine ply, and I managed to source it from a local builder's yard for five pounds a sheet less than another yard, which I was gonna buy it from originally, so quite pleased with that. Other money saving jigsaw borrowed from mum. All we need to do is buy some blades. Um, other tools I bought, nice uh, aluminium ruler there. It's actually silver line. Don't normally like their bits and bobs, but you can't really go too far wrong with a ruler. You'd have thought. Um, so I bought that. Had the short ruler already in my toolbox. Bought a straight edge. Um, all well and good, except the fact that this lip, yes, it's good for running an edge against the edge of the timber, but whenever you just want to run an angle in the middle of the timber, it gets in the way. So that's a bit of a pain, but it does force you to always recheck your measurements. And as I say, measure twice, cut once. So that was worthwhile. Got a box of pencils, a kneeling mat, because actually, unsurprisingly, plywood is fairly sore to lean on. And that's it. So. As you can see, I am currently working on the side panel. I think this is probably the mo biggest, most complex panel. And I've been marking out, sorry, I'll move around here, casting a shadow on myself. So, um, if you can, with the eye of faith, this is the bulkhead side pillar where the doors hinge. Um, this is the front leading edge of the wind of the wing where it comes down to and this is the front corner so or sorry the the radius for the front corner so it'll curve there it'll be really nice coming around here move this out of the way the uh, back edge of the front of the door um is angled at four degrees which is nice and accurate I um, hope to get someone to router that in for me. Maybe a bit two mil deep cut. I think it'll be quite nice. And then I'll paint it black and I think it'll look really well. And then this is the back of the body. I have the radius for the wheel arch curve marked. As I do in the front there as well. So my hope is I take my time, really measure the side panel out nice and neatly, cut it out, and then I'm going to use it as a template to do the second one so that they're both identical rather than measuring the second one and introducing error. Oh, just double check it all the first time and mark and cut the second one without causing too much of a problem. As you can see, there's a big bit missing and I've already gone ahead and I've cut out the chassis, which is this. Um, quite simple, but any Land Rover restoration or build, as you will know, starts with the chassis. As you can see, this is we're going to go upside down. Hopefully this works for you. Um, 12 mil marine ply. Product of Malaysia, I believe. And I have marked it up because um, I want to make sure I've sort of kept the bad surfaces hidden. There's a few knocks and dents in the, the ply, but nothing significant. Um, I'll keep myself right, otherwise I'll forget. So that's all nicely marked up. I've got myself a bit of space cleared in the garage here. The MG is waiting patiently outside, it'll come back in this evening. The Land Rover's down in storage, so I have a bit of space, all the camping equipment sitting there, um, on which to cut. Now one thing I don't have is a big table, so that's why all the access stands are out. I've been putting the ply on it and using the jigsaw to cut it on the access stand, which has actually worked quite well, and I'm quite pleased with that. 
and um, the jigsaw is a draper um, it's my mum's bought some spare blades for it I have a thicker blade for cutting straights and then I have a thinner blade for cutting curves which I'll use for the radius of the wheel arches um, they weren't too expensive it's interesting working with wood again the last time I worked with wood really was um, doing the trailer um, so it's getting used to it again I'm getting used to the dust on the floor again um, unfortunately my young son's bedroom is right up above the garage so that means I can't really use the jigsaw when he's asleep so I'm going to do all the marking out at night time and then hopefully cut during the day when he's awake otherwise I'll get in trouble with Mrs Resto Saga for waking the child so there you go and um, this is part two of the uh, Toy Lander 1 build series cost so far £50 for the um, plans. There are £45 each for the marine ply sheet. Um, I haven't bought any button or anything yet. I'll just start with those, get all the panels cut and then I'll put them all together. That's the plan. Try and keep space free in the garage. Blades, £10 for the jigsaw. I borrowed the jigsaw from my mum as I told you. Pencils, they were two or three pounds. Ruler was a fiver. So not too bad. I'll put that all up on screen now and we'll keep a track of the cost because I really like to keep uh, an eye on how much this is all costing so far. So hopefully you've enjoyed this. Please hit the subscribe button. It'll enable you to keep up to date with the Toy Lander 1 build series as well as all the other classic cars. Um, also hit like and I reply to all my comments. Suggestions are welcome. Tips and um, criticism of constructive is also welcome. I reply to all my comments. As ever, please hit the subscribe and I'll see you again next week. Thanks for watching.